This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Instagram post for the warm up. Want to make sure you're getting ready for the workout. This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Instagram post or the Best Box app for the workout warm up. This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Best Box app or the Instagram post. This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Instagram post or the Best Box app for the warm up. You want to make sure you're getting ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and maybe you start to swell a little bit before you get into it. For today's workout, we have a 30 minute workout with four different movements and a one minute rest period. Our movements that you're gonna be doing in this workout are reverse burpees, sit-ups, jumping jacks, and alternating dumbbell snatches. The dumbbell snatches will be done with a 50 pound dumbbell for the men or a 35 pound dumbbell for the woman if you're going RX. Let's take a look at that first, first movement that you're gonna do in station number one. You have reverse burpees. The reverse burpee, from a standing position, you're going to squat down, roll onto your back, get back to your feet and jump with, get back to the hop with the, get back to the top with a hop. Shit. All right. <clears throat> this is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Instagram post or the Best Box app for the warm up. Get ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increase your body temperature, and maybe you start to swell a little bit before you get into it. Today's Metcon is going to take you 30 minutes. You have four different movements with a rest period at the end of all four movements. In minute one, you're going to be doing reverse burpees. In minute two, you'll be doing sit-ups. In minute three, you'll be doing jumping jacks. And in minute four, alternating dumbbell snatches. The RX weight for the men is 50 pounds. For the ladies, it's 35 pounds. The weight should be something that you can move continuously for that entire minute. Take a look at station number one, the reverse burpee. The reverse burpee starts in a standing position. You're going to squat and roll yourself onto your back, get back to your feet, and I'm gonna get back to the top with a hop. Again, the reverse burpee, squat, roll to my back, back to my feet, jump to the top. Minute two, we have sit-ups. Those sit-ups, wanna make sure that when we're doing our sit-ups, we engage our low back with the floor. So take a big breath, press your low back to the floor. That should engage your transverse abdominis and lift your chest and shoulders off the ground. So if I have my hands overhead and I engage and I brace my midline, get my transverse abdominis activated. Notice how much higher I get through here. From here, I'm gonna throw my hands forward and sit up with a nice, straight up, uh, sit up nice and tall, maintaining neutral spine as I reach forward, touch my toes. I wanna make sure we're leading the movement with our chest and arms and not leading with our head and I'm not in this nice, in this unfortunate flex position. Minute three is jumping jack. This one will get your heart rate up, go through, get through them quickly Jumping jacks start with your hands and your, uh, hands at your side with your feet together. You're going to jump your hands and your feet out and your hands overhead and then back together for one rep. In the fourth minute, we have alternating dumbbell snatches. This is going to be done one arm, then the other. Try and uh, time the switch as you're bringing the dumbbell down from the top as opposed to drop, putting it down and resetting on the bottom. Both are good. It's just that one is more efficient than the other. So the dumbbell alternating snatches, picking the dumbbell up off the floor, stand up, deadlift it, jump into the overhead position, stand up and switch hands all the way down, touch the floor, deadlift, jump it overhead and switch. Now you could switch on the floor. It takes more time 
and requires a lot more shifting of my weight. But both are good. If you need to switch on the floor because switching on the way down is too uncomfortable or too unfamiliar for you, no big deal. It does give you an opportunity to practice the movement, but if you need to, take it from the floor. In station number five, rest for one whole minute before we go back to station number one. And you're gonna continually go through those five stations for 30 minutes. Get after it and have fun. <laughs> 